Hello everyone, uh, this is Ramaka, just making a Pokemon video. Basically, I'm going to show you how to choose the best natures for certain Pokemon and how to EV train in the 6th gen. It's made a lot easier now with super training, you can even do it in under, I'd say, you can max out a stat in like 30 minutes, no less. Used to be forever, you would find Pokemon, chain Pokemon for the certain EVs you wanted. Took forever. But now, thankfully, although although it also takes a lot of the skill out of the game, there is super training. It helps a lot, actually. Anyways, let's start with natures. Basically, you want to choose a certain nature for the Pokemon depending on what it's best in. What it is, it may be it varies depending on the Pokemon. Like, for example, a Jolteon. A Jolteon wants, uh, it's very fast, so it has a high speed stat and a high special attack. So you don't want to be adding, like, an adamant nature, which adds attack and lower special attack. That would be completely useless for a Jolteon. You want to make it high as possible on its its strengths, right? So I the best to pick would probably be either a Timid, which would raise speed and lower uh, attack, which is probably the best one for it um but it's also style too you could have a higher special attack but i'm a i like speed so i'm that type of guy but anyway so then like another pokemon like a gibble or something like a garchomp or something they are higher in attack so you'd want you know an adamant nature probably to add attack instead of special attack stuff like that and that's about all you need about nature, it's pretty easy. Um, so EVs, they are hidden value stats that help your Pokemon basically. It increases, you notice it through um, when you're leveling, if you get enough EVs, they will up, go up. You sometimes get plus four, plus five, sometimes that's because of the EVs. It's usually in the stats that you want it in. You basically, for the super training now, um, whatever it is, I have a Gibble here, of course, ironically. Um, it, you basically would want to raise its stat and attack and speed, right? So basically, you go here and you go to this sock ball kick thing, and you got the levels. And you basically, there's three levels. Um, if you're doing this for the first time, you only have level one, so you, it's best to use a Pokemon that you don't really used to unlock all the levels because you don't want to mess up with the EVs. So the first one will give you four EVs plus a punching bag, usually a small punching bag. Um, I'll tell you the, the point values after that. Uh, and then the second one is eight EV values and then third is 12. So you're obviously going to be using the third one a lot more usually. It's a lot quicker. Um, and at each of them at the end of it, depending on what you do, you'll get a punching bag. And a punching bag will even add even more stats. So after you did like uh, attack on level 3, it'll give you 12 plus. Let's say I find if you don't get hit and you do a great time, I haven't really figured it out yet, it will give you a large punching bag. A large punching get bag will give you another uh, 12 EV points if I'm correct, maybe 8. Um, and then you get a medium bag, which is plus four, and then you get a small bag, which is plus one. So, whatever one you get, you should know, so it can help you make it easier. Basically, at the end of it, you go back, and it would show here, as you can see, I have some small tax EV stats going in there, probably about 112 or something like that. Um, also, something that I don't really like, but I guess it adds an element of difficulty, is the type of Pokemon it is. With the ball up here, they change all of them. Certain Pokemon have a different one, like my, oops, I don't want this. So like my Ninja. He has very high speed, but his ball is um is a speed ball. They're all different. I haven't really figured them all out, but I find this one to be easiest. Uh, certain Pokemon like my Execute have 
this, which is like you can rapidly fireball instead of fast rate, which I find to be really bad. Hard to get it done, but um, anyways, yeah, that's all you need to know. Um, when you got punch bag, you just keep on tapping, and it'll eventually do some move, and then you'll have the stats. That's about that. Uh, max stats are 510 in a Pokemon, 252 in each in one of specific stat. Um, so you do 252, 252 in another stat, and six in one other. It varies on certain Pokemon, but I'll leave a description in the link that I use. And that's about it. Uh, any questions, guys, just leave in the comment. Um, don't know if I'll be keeping on doing this, really doing this video for a friend. And thanks.